Well, of course, Matt Wins has been tracking the weather for this eclipse. So, Matt, are things looking any better? Yeah, I'm still equally as optimistic as I was okay. yesterday. If you guys have been following with us, I'm going to show you the two major models. We are now getting into the time frame where we understand how the weather's going to play out. But figuring out if the cloud's going to be over us or not, that's the big thing. So here we go. This is the Euro. We're tracking that system in from California. Here's Sunday. Clouds come in Sunday night. Monday's when we care about. I think we're going to wake up to some showers as it looks right now. But the showers should fade. Here's 3 o'clock on the Euro. Clear skies with some clouds and rain just down to our south. All right, this can shift. And again, we're too close or too far out to have the, you know, the close idea of it. But the idea is we're going to have breaks in the clouds locally. All right, and that's some good news. Let's show you the GFS. GFS a little bit more pessimistic this morning. These are brand new model runs. It brings the rain in here Monday morning, but it keeps the rain around at three with a shower and clouds. Meanwhile, clearing down by Cincinnati. Either way, it's too soon to talk about what exactly the cloud cover is going to look like, but we know there's a chance because there will be some breaks in the clouds. And looking at it all the way down towards Texas, there's going to be cloud cover from Indiana to Texas. So we really have one of the best shots in the country. So I have a feeling people are going to be flocking here. Cloud cover trend I've lowered a little bit since yesterday. I'm still optimistic about it and forecast confidence just ever so slightly higher. Something we'll continue to obviously track as we go over the next couple of days. Isabel, you're keeping us confident and optimistic here, Matt. That's right. No other way. No other way. We appreciate it. And reminder that we have you covered for the solar eclipse and the Guardians home opener, both on the same day. Live coverage starts for total eclipse of the park beginning Monday at 2 p.m., followed by pregame coverage at 4 for the opener with the first pitch at 510. Of course, all of that right here on Channel 3.